Hey everybody, welcome to AJS News. This is the second video of two we have for you today. But first, a brand new video word from our sponsors. This week on Manimal Planet, we'll be taking a look at the male of the species. Hello? Who's there? Now that spring is approaching in the Northern Hemisphere, this male and others will have to adapt to the warmer climate. The cold months meant that they grew thick, unsightly tufts of body hair, and grooming habits faltered, many developing strong, unpleasant body odors. Oh. The warm weather means that outdoor activities, less clothing, and the allure of females mean that they will need to groom that body hair and control the smells, or they'll spend another season unsuccessful and alone. Again. Hey man, come on. You know I can hear you, right? Ah, this specimen has decided to give himself a major advantage. The Manscaped Ultra Premium Collection. The all-in-one skin and hair care kit. Now he can venture off and will no longer smell like an old gym sock worn by a wet dog. Thanks, jerk. Well, not only that, I got 20% off with free international shipping if you use code Angry Joe Show. And he got 20% off and free international shipping by using code Angry Joe Show. That's just what I said. Can you please get out of my house? Make sure that you smell great this upcoming spring. Everyone's going to be outside. We're actually going to start seeing people more. The weather's getting nice finally. Yeah. You'll feel uh, a lot nice. cooler. Yeah, you'll feel much better if you, uh, if <laughs> cool you smell good. breeze yeah. all on your body. There's nothing worse than you're just like, mm. is, it, is that me? It's me. And and <laughs> that's right. And if you already have bought something from Manscaped, because we've been talking about them so much and they love the Angry Joe Show, consider some of their other products. Shampoo, body wash, body spray, deodorant, and even friggin' lip balm. Joe, this, one's, and the this one is yours. It's unopened. This one's mine. Been using it. Guys, there's lots of stuff that you can get from Manscaped. Uh, click those links down below so you can get a little discount uh, percent off from us. And let's get to the gaming news. I've got an angry rant on NFTs. <laughs> Go check, check it that out. out. We also have uh, the review out. Horizon Zero Dawn review with a Joey. West. Joey. Joey. Forbidden West. For God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never not do that. I know. I'll never not do that. I'm just going to fucking call it Horizon from now on. You know what Yo, we you mean. suggest we just call it Forbidden you've, West. You've hit Forbidden that West. Forbidden where... West. So, what is the you fucking third one going to be called? <laughs> You, you, you remember growing up where it's like, turn off your Nintendo. It's like, mom, it's a PlayStation. I fucking <laughs> do that. That bothered me so much well, my dad. And now. my dad would do it on purpose, too. He'd be like, turn your fucking Nintendo off. That's it. Start dad, Nintendo. Dad, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a fucking Nintendo. <laughs> and he'd do it on purpose. But now I'm doing it on purpose. For Alloy. A Alloy and fucking hey. Horizon. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, uh, tell me what the... Name of the third game is going to be because that would be uh, a, a stupid north, um, boring south. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> just playing. I, we, we like, we actually like the game. We all yeah. like the game. And uh, I'm fully on board for the third one. Okay, so off topic, god damn it. New World, uh, New World Let's 2022. We got a roadmap. Uh, so the MMO, the Amazon MMO is going to see three new uh, expeditions, okay. a new zone. Two new weapons. They are breaking the bank. Oh, two shit. weapons. Hey, so I read that. Launch. I was like, wait, that's wait, all right. You got it. You got Amazon. Your Amazon. You can only afford two weapons. What kind of weapons? Yeah, but who's playing that game still? I think it's fine. It's good. Whole, two. It's still quite a bit, right? Branch. Two. Yes, two is good. For, no. no, man. I want forty new weapons. I'd say minimum. Uh, 10. That's a little unrealistic. Say minimum ten. I would have said that for I don't know Battlefield Five because we only got like, you know. <laughs> I forgot anything. that game's around. Wait, five? Wait, no, no, Battlefield five. Six or Battle, Battlefield, Battlefield 2040, 2042. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> that all right, everyone game else forgot called. about that one. But we'll talk about that one later. We'll okay. talk about, yeah, that one later. So the Heart of Madness update's coming later this month. We'll bring the strength, intelligence, scaling, blunderbuss weapon. Um, we're also getting a Tempest Heart already, expedition. Yeah. Well, I mean, now okay. you're getting another one. Um, but so they're, look, they're 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 trying to make the game better. The issue that people had on launch was, hey, this game has good bones. Where's the rest of the content? Yeah. This is you, you. You need more for an MMO, uh, and so they're they they're giving a roadmap now. Okay. In, in a Good. time of video games where we're talking about roadmaps to roadmaps, broken road. I mean, you know, Starfield, Cyberpunk. Uh, Battlefield, Halo, where we just don't know what the hell's going on with any of them. This is it's good. It's like good on you. You put out a roadmap. We Roadmaps are very dangerous, though. What? We have fall. We, oh. we we did a roadmap <laughs> yeah. once. Didn't work very well. Roadmap so to, that's, the roadmap. <laughs> yeah. to the roadmap. Yeah, the roadmap. 
because they're gonna really hold you to that. Yeah, they, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, obviously, with bringing that's it back, why you keep the dates DLC. on the roadmap a little vague, yeah. but not vague enough to piss me off because it's like let's let's do this. Come on. Yes. At one point in time, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Epic is going to donate all Fortnite uh, proceeds over the next two weeks. Uh, to so the humanitarian to efforts. Uh, I mean, they... It's the a lot. humanitarian efforts? efforts in Ukraine, yeah. Okay. Uh, in so Ukraine. in the first 24 hours, they raised $36 million. Like, this is this is big Good. money. Um, Good. This, Yeah, this is not someone selling a small bundle and being like, all the skins will, will sell that. Like, this is this is massive amounts of money. So this is something I wanted to bring attention to. Um, yes, thank you for bringing attention to it. It's fucking crazy that we have a... It's a goddamn, you know, conventional conflict in 2022 of one country invading another. And, you know, the civilian population is getting screwed over and fucking <laughs> the killed, man. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I, I like that from Fortnite to donate millions and millions of dollars for humanitarian aid mm -hmm. to, to get help those people. Uh, Google Stadia, uh, you know, we've, we've loved to poke fun about Google Stadia for a long time. Um, remember it was, it was a very healthy state is what they told us a couple oh, months yeah. ago. Work and work great. Uh, they are, they're piecing it out. They're sending it to a chop shop. Uh, they are, the tech is now being licensed out. So they're just going to wipe. That's you know, what I thought it. would happen. Yeah. And that's actually a good thing. That is a good thing. Cause I want the technology to live in the future. Um, but to be fair, I mean, there's NVIDIA GeForce Now. Which is They've great. got even better technology. Uh, uh, full disclosure, we were sponsored by them, but I've tried them both, and I know which one I like better, and I know which one works better. Yeah, one's uh, less laggy. But I do like... <laughs> it works uh, everywhere. I know. I know. It was insane how fast that one fucking... We were playing what, uh, Shadow Warrior 3, yeah. and you need to be fucking fast in that game or you die, and it was like instant. Mm. So... Um, Cloud gaming, uh, it, that's it's really really cutting edge tech. Maybe we'll uh, that'll start being more prevalent in years to come, and we start to see some. But we've seen some of these pioneers with Stadia being one of them. It would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Um, it's already a shame that they lost. It's a damn shame the they, they launched the way they did because exactly. they could have actually had a working product, but one that like pay we could have been excited about fees, and the, you have to pay more on this and that, and yeah, you have to buy the games <sighs> again. You have to pay right. for the the privilege, which is what GeForce now solves because I've got I already bought the games on my Steam. I have them on Steam, and all you do is you link your Steam with the fucking GeForce mm -hmm. now, and then instantly you've got the game. I didn't need to fucking rebuy it. It is fucking. So stupid it thinking is. about how they fucked it up. <laughs> Why would anybody buy two of the same you fucking got game? Way Man. too greedy. No. On that. Yeah. Uh, Anyways, so ridiculous. the technology will be <laughs> piecemealed out and, yeah. and, and kind of. You think Soldier Boy is going to get on that? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm, I'm all. Soldier Boy going uh, <laughs> worldwide. Superman. Cloud that, service, son. Mm -hmm. That cloud. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Disrespect. Um, boo! Remember, he had a he has an NFT game. Boo! Uh, Even more boo! Yeah. Well, fucking NFT. The Midnight game. Society, the the new AAA game studio that you know is headed by him and a bunch of other people from yeah. other battle royales. Uh, as, oh uh, yeah. They put out a, a video I saw and it. Uh, there was no some, no no. It was the website. Mm, yeah, and there was some stolen artwork. Yeah. From <laughs> Cyberpunk. Um, <laughs> the picture up here, Joe. You know the the soldier yes. that's pointing the gun? It's like everybody knows that from Cyberpunk. What the fuck are you doing? Well, NFTs are all about you know art theft anyway, <laughs> right? And so... <laughs> Uh, maybe they're they very comfortable with they're stealing. stealing our, oops! And they oof. said, "Oh, I, I think I read this." And they were like, "Oh, oh no, that they, was a placeholder." Was a placeholder. Yes. We I forgot. I was like, what? "Why would you know?" Wait, I oh, it's a placeholder. That. You meaning you went and you grabbed it and you cut it out from the fucking and then you put all the effort into it to put there. There, no, man. Play, that, come on. They come uploaded on. the wrong one. They said, "Okay, yeah. okay." You are forgiven. <laughs> if nobody would have said anything, they would have continued with it. Yeah. It was like, oh, sorry, that was the wrong one. Yeah, they, they did claim that it was just a placeholder and that they've shamed the Easy. person. They, you know, they made light of the situation. Um, but the, the biggest issue... All right, this, fine. The, the game is you have now people that are attacking the game company and there are people that are just defending the game company. Um, you know, they're like, no, NFTs are great. If you're going to disregard an entire studio nah, of their man. game because of the optional NFTs, and I think... I don't think your problem is with NFTs. Like, no, it's 100 percent with the NFTs. I don't. I, I love yeah, no, the idea of Doctor Respect making you. his game and all these mm -hmm. other things. 
Sign me up. I'll even I'll be, yeah, exactly. give you money like because Joe you're a new said studio. last time, hey, yeah. you could just be like a founder. Kick started. You kick started. We'll give you money I'll for that. Money. As opposed to like this bullshit. It's like NFTs. But now that you did that, I'm not so sure about giving you money. I'm sorry. Because that's that was on your mind, and that's the way your brain works on making maximum profit and taking advantage of your fucking audience, which is, you know, I, it makes it feels gross. It's like, is this how he's always thought? I, I, I don't like it. Mm-hmm. Does he not have any control in saying, nah, man, we're not going to do the NFTs? That's I what mean, we're fighting. I'm in gaming. I'm Dr. Disrespect. I fucking know how gamers react to this shit. No. Instead, he was like, yeah, fuck it. NFTs. Yeah, yeah, these motherfuckers are going to follow me. They're going to fucking yeah. give me money well, it anyway. It nothing to do with the game, so I put it in there. Nah, yeah. man. I'm not. I, I don't know. So now I'm thinking that the game they're going to release is going to be a fucking battle royale with plenty of microtransactions. Maybe the maybe NFTs, but I think from this blowback, they're saying, all right, no. Ain't going to be no NFTs yeah. in it. But yeah. Bet your fucking there ass there's going to be uh, an economy in it that's built like a mobile game so that they can milk their audience. Mm-hmm. That's what I think. Well, now, yeah, if it comes going- out and it's like fucking boom, $60, pay us once, and it is one of the best fucking games, we're going to sing its fucking praises mm-hmm. from the mountaintop. Everybody needs to go and play the Dr. Disrespect game. Well, even if it's like Warzone, Warzone has all of those microtransactions, but it, it, it feel, it's, in, it's done in a way where I never felt pressured to buy any of them. If there's something cool, sure, you can throw some money at yeah. them. And that is a, that's an economy that I'm totally fine with. Yeah, sure. But... Uh, if you're if if it's NFTs and we're running around and we're trading art and all those and they're trying to create a secondary market outside of their game and it's like no I'm not interested in that at all under any circumstance yeah so they got they got caught uh, stealing art and they said no we didn't steal it it was a placeholder Placeholder. and we forgot about it it's like bro come on man you're telling me none of your fucking guys looked at your fucking website after it was fucking built and nobody fucking noticed it. Nah, man. I went to the website and I saw it. I'm like, what is this? Well, uh, and they kind of just, I kind of forgot about it because I was like, all right, well, whatever. It's okay, cool. It's a placeholder. <laughs> Maybe they got one you of forgot. the devs from Capcom because, you know, oh, yeah, people at Capcom, yeah. <laughs> all, all, everyone at Capcom yeah, yeah. just does nothing but yeah, steal it. It's like, art, oh, that looks so. pretty yeah. sweet. Did well, you make they, that? What they should no, have like, done is guy. made his gun limp. I mean, just drew his gun a little limp. And, and then, just like Capcom took the fucking uh, Street Fighter logo, <laughs> made the F flaccid. See, our, ours goes, dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and theirs goes. Din, 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 din. What a it's what a fun reference that no one's gonna get. Like <laughs> some older people. I got it. Will. I got it. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah, older I'm people. not gonna say what it is. Put oh, it down oh. in the comments if you got yeah. that reference. O- older people know. Uh, in a terrifying headline. <laughs> that interview was so embarrassing. It was. <laughs> yeah. Where's he's he's playing money. sometime soon too. Really? Like, yeah. Out <laughs> Let's t- go. Uh, yeah. Uh, Halo show writer says they didn't look at the video game. Um, when they're when they're making the TV well, show, well, that makes sense because they have what? that Tahoe back there. It's like, oh, it's in the future. Just shut we the don't know. fuck up. That makes sense. <laughs> what? So the showrunner Stephen King reveals that when making the show, they didn't even look at the video games. What? No! Fuck off! Are you fucking? Not, are you fucking out of your mind? <laughs> are you stupid? Are you serious? Yeah. No, I no no no. What do you need to look at the game? Well, for? I need to look. I need to look at this article. Get tell me more. We didn't look at the game. Why? Well, um, they they wanted to do like their why own, their own thing. They piss off everyone. They, they wanted to do their own stuff. So Kane reveals that's, that they didn't actually uh, look at the Halo games in order to make the show. He explains that instead he and writers de- delved deep into the characters and the world that they were creating, which helped them uh, not feel creatively hampered by what had been done before oh, in the sure. video games. You know the things that everyone everyone liked. So none Scream of that. Scream so loud the fucking ball fell out of the fucking thing. <laughs> Um, so we, well, we know, so the Halo show is confirmed not to take place in the same timeline as the games. Yeah, but uh, you have to fucking do goddamn research in the fucking source material before you can feel confident and, and please the many fans. You, if you're going to fucking make something original in your own, then why even fucking use the Halo license? Why? You're fleecing people. You're fucking using something without paying respect to it. Fuck off. Fuck you. What's this guy's name? Stephen Kane. All right. Fuck you, Stephen Stephen Kane. Kane. That was fucking stupid of you to say. You keep that fucking shit to yourself. Yeah. God, uh, at least you're brutally honest, though. Yeah, we didn't even fucking look at the game. Games, piece of shit. My stuff is the best. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, cheer fucking hubris, bro. Sheer They're already uh, confirmed hubris. to be several major departures, including the fact that Master Chief is going to be taking his helmet off all the time. 
all the know, time? Oh, I, mean, I think it's just I thought not it was just all gonna the be time. Like one, it's going to be one. So. Yeah. You, think, you think it's I think once? So, yeah. if it's like, I'm a little worried about that <sighs> one character, Quan, Quan Am, or something like that, where it's just so all focused on her and Master Chief's going to be sidelined, and we're going to get a, a fucking uh, you know Star Wars uh, gender study situation. Well, I just hope he's not going to be like Boba Fett, just like, yeah, I have my helmet, I'm going to carry it around. Mm. That way, you know, People want to see my face. They want to see like, my face. It's like, no, mm, that's not, no, mm. I don't want that. But don't worry, a bunch of members from 343 Industries have uh, ad- ad- advised them, big consultants on the show. All right. So the showrunner's an idiot, but the, the people, all there, I mean, you got to remember, it's not just one person making this thing. Yeah. There are tons and tons of people, and those people have probably played the shit out of the fucking games. Everybody calm down. And we will review yeah, it. Yeah, but you as a director and be like, hey, I don't I think know. that's right. Yeah. Like, no, this is my vision. Yeah, this is my vision. Get away. My yeah. says director. Exactly. Well, yours says consultant. Well, maybe let's see. he won't be a dick like that. Maybe. We'll see. Oh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the show comes out. We will out see. Uh, in like, three days. Yeah, three days. Oh, fuck. Three we days. will see. Yeah, we'll see if that Chevy Tahoe makes we sense. We will be playing uh, uh, a Halo Fleet Battles board game uh, on Wednesday, Wednesday, and then on 24th, we shall watch it. Um, I saw, like, some... Damn, we need to talk to see if we can talk to Paramount Plus, because I think people have seen the first two episodes. Maybe we can get, send an email out to them, try to get try to get access. If not, then we're going to stuck... We'll just be stuck doing the first episode. Uh, we'll review the first episode and uh, review it episode by episode, um, I'm excited, but after that news story, I'm not excited anymore. I'm worried. How are you going to come out three days before and be like, yeah, the game, we never fucking played it. Master Chief, <laughs> who's that? Yeah. Master who's that? Chief? It's Master Chef, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> what an idiot. Uh, okay. Uh, well, we also have interesting news from Halo. This I'm going to lump together both Halo Infinite and Battlefield 2042. To major uh, franchises, live service games. Uh, oh, Battlefield 2042. There's another development team that never played the original Battlefield. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as of right now, Halo is doing very, very, very poorly uh, as far as player count goes. Um, we're well, talking they haven't about done, yeah, because well, they haven't the, done anything else. They're missing 90, I think 98% of people uh, who were playing are no longer mm. playing from all time peak. Uh, we're down in just a couple thousands, uh, 3,000 at the time that I was last looking at it. Battlefield 2042 is at 2,000 people. Um, I, I mean, these are some of the biggest games that, that should have come out. These are things that should be dominating. After the, the major releases, there's going to be some dips, but they should be coming back, and they just aren't. And right, or what's alarming right now is we have, we're in this kind of like radio silence from both 343 Oof. and from DICE. We don't know what's coming when. What right? is happening? Yeah, it's like, well, we bought, we bought the games. You made us pay money for them uh-huh. up front. Where's the stuff? And we you, have you seen this slow turn of, of Halo? Like it was our, it was kind of like our poster child. It's like, oh, thank God we made it through that year, and there was something positive at the end of the year. Man, it's slowly kind of turning against us and and turning into a little bit of a, a shit show over there, huh? Damn, yeah, man. Live service, huh? And we want more live service. Yeah, uh, but the issue is that nothing feels nothing feels live about it. Like this no. is the point in the in a live service game where we would be getting announcements new some... announcements, content, and we don't have anything. We still don't know when we're getting co. I mean, co ops just apparently coming not at the launch of the season, maybe in the middle of the season. So, you know, I don't want to keep beating Even this then, dead like, horse. I, don't know. I but... just don't want to play co op. Oh no. yeah, I don't know if the game. Uh, maybe some of the, the the fights would be cool co-op, but I think a lot of them won't be. Mm. Um, but the player count, like the app, the the massive decline in player count, is actually starting to impact matchmaking. Uh, people are having issues with it, and of course, there's all the other issues that go with it. Like there's desync issues within Halo right now that are really making playing competitively really difficult. Where you're just standing there, and all of a sudden, the, you just desync and die. Yeah. Um, and so. And getting f- like fucking hitboxes and going through, boy, that shit. I've seen people who's like, no, I'm done. I'm done with Halo Infinite. Yeah. I'm not playing it anymore. Yeah. It's got to be. They've got to update something soon, or we're not talking about like th- this was a ten year game. Remember, they wanted to do Halo Infinite for ten years. I don't know if it's gonna um, live the one year. Like they really have to make massive, massive I don't changes. Know if it's gonna yeah. finish out this year. Yeah. So I, I, it's gonna be, it's gonna be real interesting to see what they do. And but the, what's more important is they have to respond sometime soon. 
Like the I know, dude. Fucking talk to us, you know. And you've already delayed. I, I will survive the year because they'll fucking, you know. You've got the four player co op coming. You've got the forge coming. So they just, they're just like, nah. We'll just wait for these things. We'll be all right. Okay. Well, let us know that you're gonna be all right and tell us what the fuck is going yeah. on. Uh, I mean, the average player count for Halo in the last 30 days. It's weird. That, are you serious? They went radio silent because, you know, uh, as I was doing research for my review, they had live streams. They like to constantly talk with their community. Mm -hmm. That makes it even more shocking if they've really gone radio silent and haven't done any more video shows and updates with Skitch or Sketch. Or I imagine we're right on, we're right the, on the cusp of them Same releasing company. something and letting us know when, when co-op's going to be. But mm -hmm. with, like, the player, the player count is dropping every single day. The average players is, is continuing to drop, and I don't know if we're going to get. Uh, I mean, I, hopefully they're going to do a video, get, do something soon. Let us know when things are coming. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, you had a couple ones you want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, I had uh, Vampire: The Masquerade. So not Bloodlines Two, that Ooh. game that we really want. I want because that game. I want that game, but that game is in fucking development hell. God yeah. knows what's happening to that. Uh, but this one's Vampire: The Masquerade Swan Song. And I'd, I, you'd be forgiven for getting them fucking confused because this one is apparently an RPG, too. It is the upcoming narrative-focused RPG set in the universe of the tabletop game. And so we've got our first trailer here providing glimpses of how uh, its investigation mechanics are. Uh, so you're kind of figuring out some kind of assassination who plot, it? who done it. You're you're using your vampire powers to manipulate people, to talk to them and, and investigate and figure these things out. Well, when you use your well it kinda looks like <laughs> a little bit more elaborate telltale game. Uh I think there's more to it. You actually kind of walk around, but it's like walking from one investigation thing and a huge dialogue dump to the next. So in a game like that, you're you're going to need to have good dialogue. You're going to have the need really good, good role play options. Uh, good role play options. They even do a little bit of um, skill trees and stuff, but I don't know, man. It, it's the character models that kind of look stiff and they're kind of doing weird things in, in the trailer. It's like, but... Graphics aren't everything, you know, and and Vampire the Masquerade, we already know that from game. Graphics weren't even everything mm -hmm. when that game came out, and it was fucking amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I know you got. I know you had fun doing the seduce. Um, if Damn you street. Do seduction in here, that would be cool. So anyway, just know that this game that you're gonna confuse with. Oh, wait, is that the Bloodlines game? No, it's <laughs> no. not the Bloodlines game, but it is coming out this year. Unlike when we have no idea when that other Bloodlines two game years. is coming. Minimum two years. Two Minimum years. two years. Uh, but this my guess, one, we, we don't actually know. We don't actually. We're guessing. Minimum is, or this one is May nineteenth. So this one's coming up on us, Swan Song, narrative RPG. Hmm. Yeah. And then uh, also, uh, we got to talk about this, can't let this go by. Gran Turismo 7 is a fucking travesty. Oof. I'm hearing, I have not put my hands on it yet. That was one that I had to highlight in red because there were so this many games. Uh, maybe we can go back and do a stream on it, get an angry rant going, because from what I hear... There are fucking microtransactions up the ass with long, grindy gameplay that that basically forces you to work at the game to get these cars that you want unlocked. And it's never fun like that. Worse, the biggest thing that I've heard or read, again, haven't played it with my own fingers yet, is you can't fucking sell cars like you could in the past. Like, okay, I got this car, but I don't like it. I'm going to sell it. I'm going to get that currency and put it towards another. Can't fucking do that. Why? Because there's currency in here that you can purchase and buy so you can get these things quicker. So people were fucking pissed. And the, actually, Gran Turismo 7 right now, I think on Metacritic, has like the low, one of the lowest ratings, user ratings of the any lowest, PlayStation the, of, game. Yeah, yeah, the lowest rating. That's fucking crazy. So they finally have updated that. Uh, oh, by the way, the game is also always online and has been down for like 24 hours. You can't even fucking play the game. No, two days. They took two it days. They took wow. The two days. Well, ne guess what? Now it's back online. Uh, this was uh, uh, March 18th, <coughs> and uh, after being unplayable for for, a, for multi many many hours, the producer explains why that maintenance period uh, happened a little bit longer. They discovered an issue where the game would not stop start properly and then there was a rare issue blah 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 bunch of excuses now here's where we get to the other thing is meaning it would uh 
Yamuchi, Yamauchi then addresses the microtransactions. In update 107, the number of in-game credits earned for completing tracks and races was decreased, meaning that it would be tougher to purchase cars. So they were it was already bad, and then they were making it worse. Uh, some felt that this was to push the microtransactions, but Yamauchi says the team wants, quote-unquote, users to enjoy lots of cars and races, even without microtransactions. Then why would you decrease? I know. No. <laughs> At the same time, the pricing of cars is an important element that conveys their value and rarity. There it is right there. So is I do is think it's important it's for it to be linked with real world prices. Fuck mm. you. Right there, I'm fucking done with you. I'm fucking done with your game. If that was your response to my it, the excessive microtransactions and the excessive grind for those, Mai continues, I want to make GT7 a game in which you can enjoy a variety of cars in lots of different ways. What is this gobbledygook? And if possible, would like to try to avoid a situation where a player must mechanically keep replaying certain events over and over again. Player were, players were using certain tracks to farm credits, and those were targeted in this particular update. Because it gets around the microtransactions. Yeah, and, and so he's like, it pains me <laughs> that I cannot explain the details regarding this at this moment, but we plan to continue to revise GT7 so that as many players as possible can enjoy the game, is what he writes. Finally, we would really appreciate it if everyone could watch over the growth of Gran Turismo 7 from a somewhat longer term point because it's not how you release <laughs> it's where you end up quote yep. piece of shit todd howard the no. blog the studio says they'll let players know the update plans for additional content race events and features so to sad. constructively resolve this issue well so the issue is so he the, what he said what you quoted him yeah. was well, just the one time that he did that he has actually talked to a bunch of different outlets oh, okay. and he's saying the exact same thing so it's not an accident that the, that he keeps reiterating yeah. the same point it's important for in-game cars to be linked with real world prices is no, his it's quote not. and so no, he keeps fucking not. he keeps mentioning that as it's been it's been written for him by someone yes. right it's either, it's, mm -hmm. it's either by Sony's been told him so or these are else. the two situations yeah. i think either this is Sony's directive just yeah. like yeah. PlayStation look this is Gran Turismo this is our fucking property you you're going to do this yeah. And, grind, and he's like, and then that's when he's like, it pains me that I cannot explain the details, but please give me a chance kind of thing. Or it could be that he fucking buys into it as well. It's like, nah, man, this is unacceptable. It is. They basically ruined the uh, grind for Grand Turismo 7 <laughs> and made it worse and turned it into a fucking microtransaction uh Time saver factory, and and I'm not about that, man. You gotta, you have to fucking work at this game as a job to unlock the fucking cars that you want. And there well, are so many other games out there. You ain't got time for that shit. We ain't got time for that shit. So they're like, buy money, buy your real money. No, <laughs> fuck off is what we're doing. Yeah, buy a they, Ferrari. But they scale. It scales with real. Like they're like, no, that, that this fake car costs more because uh, in real life it's like, but this is a video game. Man. I know, you right? You fucked it up. Like, you done fucked it up. That yes, might need an money. angry Well, I just spent 32,000 real dollars on this game to buy but this. But I'm busy right well, now. Well, you also paid $60, so $60 to, to, to buy it in the first place. Yeah, it, it looks like an absolute shit show, and uh, the franchise deserved better. Mm, definitely. Did not deserve to get ruined by, by microtransactions and the greed of current uh, live service games. You know, Gran Turismo is one of the legendary ones. Um, you know, I would go over to a friend's house to fucking play it because uh, I didn't have a PlayStation at the time, but it was, yeah, cool. And uh, sad, sad. Cool. No more sadness. That's it. <laughs> We're gonna end this one on a sad one. Uh, <laughs> Gran Turismo Seven. Hopefully, uh, uh, please uh, look at this game more in the long term, like every other fucking live service game. No, no, thank you. All right, guys. Well, that's it for us. Uh, check out our sponsors. Links down below. Manscape. Plenty of products for you. In addition to, of course, the traditional stuff mm -hmm. that, that help you feel and look better. Um, yeah. Thank y'all, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.